In this video I'm going to show how to test the ALU for the transistor processor. This circuit is, is quite complicated but it's a very easy board to test because it's fairly static in its operation in as much as the registers um, within it don't require latching. So it's just a simple case of applying different values to the A and B inputs and seeing what the result is. The result is shown on the uh, ALU register LEDs at the top right and then there are two flags the zero flag and the carry flag um, they are the only bits that need latching they're only updated when the um, LB line is strobed so I have the A inputs on jumpers the B inputs on jumpers and the um, LB line um, going to, to ground so that we can update the flags whenever we want to so all we have to do is apply different values and then see what the result is. So at the moment we have uh, 0 on the B input and 0 on the A input. These are normally connected directly to the output of the B register and the accumulator which I'll recall on a different board. Uh, in the middle here I put the uh, relationship between the, the two inputs so it's um, a case of with the SU line low we will be adding the right hand value to the left hand value and with the SU line high we will be subtracting the right hand value from the left hand value. So at the moment we have uh, zero showing as we should because we have zero going into both sides and the zero flag is on which again we should have the zero flag on because we have a zero result. So what I'll do is I'll start by putting a value of one into the B register and as you can see we have one showing. If I put one into the A register we now have two so it's added those two values together. If I change to subtract then we get zero. One minus one is obviously zero. If we change the B register to a total of three so both bits zero and one are high and we leave a value of 1 in the A register, 3 plus 1 is 4. Obviously this is in binary, so uh, uh, just bear that in mind. If we change to subtract 3 minus 1, it should be 2. And indeed we get 2 on the output. If I just update the flags, so we can see that the zero flag has now gone out uh, as it should because the value, the result is no longer zero. That's fundamentally all you have to do is just put different values in for the, uh, the two inputs. See if the result that you get on the LEDs is correct. So here we're putting three in for B and three in for A and the result is six. Again, if we subtract three from three, we get zero. Uh, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Just put um, as many values in until you're happy that all the bits work. I do suggest that you do try values that include all the separate bits. For example, you could do 10, 10, 10 on the first one and 0, 1, 0, 1 on the second one. See if you get the correct result and then flip them over uh, and do the same again. And that will check that all the individual bits and the carries etc. within the um, ALU are working. Uh, so this board is working and it's ready to go into the processor. 